Did Rupert Mur got Murdoch have another reason to sideline Tucker Carlson? Does it have anything to do with the World Health Organization? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is another declaration of truth from your ho host, Terry A. Hurlbut. Three days ago, Paul D. Thacker, author of the Fauci Pharma Files, released another thread. He called it the Tucker Twitter Files. And in them, he offered a new theory for Tucker Carlson's abrupt departure from the airwaves at Fox News Ch Channel, which is that he ran afoul of the World Health Organization and its allies. Now, this doesn't necessarily explain his departure now, but it does suggest that pressure for it had been building in the Parag Agrawal days. I'm going to review the thread. I'll bring you all to, up to speed on what's been happening with, with and to Tucker Carlson and discuss why this represents another possible motive for Rupert Murdoch to do what he is doing. A thing that has another former Fox News personality thinking he, Murdoch, is crazy. Before I begin, I do want to shout out to the prime sponsor of this channel, which is Conservative News and Views. Link in the description. Be sure to check out the awesome CNAV store. Scroll down near the bottom for that link. Lots of great merchandise there, especially this t-shirt that I have chosen for today, which uh, has a this hypothetical quote from George Orwell. Boy, did I call it, or what? One more thing. If you like what you're about to hear, you can like this video. You can also click the bell icon to get a notice every time I come up with a new one. Oh, do you see the new icon, the heart shape with the U.S. dollar sign in it? That's the super thanks icon. If you really want to keep these videos coming, click that and leave me a tip. Any currency will do, so long as it's legal tender. Let's review what happened to Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson was preparing his show for Monday night, April 24th, when word came down that his show would not air. Megyn Kelly dropped a rumor two days ago that Fox News carefully did not terminate Carlson. I have a link in the description to a tweet by Benny Johnson containing an embed of his interview with Ms. Kelly. According to her, Fox did not terminate Carlson's contract. They merely locked him out of his show and kept him under a contract with 18 months to run. Fox wants him to negotiate his exit and would prefer to dribble out a monthly stipend for the next for the rest of the contract term, thus sidelining Tucker Carlson until after the election of 2024. Tucker has lawyered up and has said nothing since his Wednesday night video. And I have a link in the description to that video on his Twitter account. But this is a total variance with a tale from other insiders that Fox News intended to cut T Tucker off without another red penny. Now, I have no reason to suppose that Megyn Kelly is lying, and I don't know those other two Messrs. Piffwits, but whether she actually knows the truth is, enough, is something else again. Maybe someone is feeding her a lie. But now, Paul Thacker comes forward with yet another theory of the kinds of things with which, <coughs> which Tucker was dealing. I have links in the description to seven tweets out of a 12-tweet thread, and now I'm going to transcribe it for you. Why did Twitter censor Tucker Carlson? Better yet, who helped Twitter do that? The Tucker Twitter Files. While reading an endless sea of Twitter files, one request to censor alleged uh, misinformation on the virus that shall remain nameless stood out. Tucker Carlson. Tucker is now in the news after Fox announced his departure. Well, maybe. A Twitter employee emailed colleagues in June 2021 to inquire if a Tucker Carlson op-ed for the Fox News opinion account should be flagged for misinformation relating to the virus that shall remain nameless. Twitter then punished Tucker Carlson for this op-ed in which he said that it's dangerous for children to get the jab. Tucker actually cited the World Health Organization's own website, which stated that the WHO or the WHO was not recommending the children get the jab. 
When I looked back at the WHO website, I found that they stealth edited their page to remove this passage stating that they did not recommend that kids get the jab. Stop here. Here is how the text reads, suitably paraphrased. Children should not be jabbed for the moment. There is not yet enough evidence on the use of immunizations against the virus that shall remain nameless in children to make recommendations for children to be immunized against it. Children and adolescents tend to have a milder disease compared to adults. However, children should continue to have the recommended childhood immunizations, unquote World Health Organization. Presumably, that last includes DPT, polio, MMR, chicken pox. Well, they don't do smallpox anymore. At least I don't think they do because that outfit, de the outfit declared that that disease was eradicated. But understand this. They still keep smallpox samples in at least three laboratories that I know of around the world. Why they didn't destroy those stocks, I don't know. I asked my medical school professors at the time and I did not get a single straight answer. Moving on. After Twitter began reviewing Tucker's op-ed for alleged virus misinformation, an employee emailed that they would take action by labeling any tweets linking the article. Twitter officials also discussed looping in top Twitter execs such as the general counsel due to the political risks associated with such action. Yoel Roth agreed with this approach to escalate. One employee chimed in to explain various options Twitter could take that would affect the op-ed's reach without directly censoring Fox. There were various choices. Tucker Carlson would ne have never known that this happened, but when Twitter held a meet and, greet, a meet and greet months later, they wrote of Tucker's producer, it was pretty apparent from the get-go we understood the very different goals we have at work. By the way, the Twitter official who first brought Tucker's article to attention came to Twitter from the office of Senator Charles M. Schumer, Democrat from New York, a frequent Tucker critic. Her name, Elizabeth Busby, former Deputy National Press Secretary to Senate Democratic Leader Chuck Schumer, who worked previously at SKD Knickerbocker and AmeriCorps, joined Twitter's policy and communications team in Washington, focused on U.S. public policy, safety policy, and elections. Unquote. Uh, unquote that press release. Much thanks to Texas Lindsay who helped uh, collect and organize the Twitter files. I love San Francisco, but we read and read until our eyes bled. More Twitter files to come. Read more on Twitter's censoring of Tucker Carlson at the Disinformation Chronicle. Who censored itself on immunizations to help Twitter censor Tucker Carlson? The Bird Factory secretly clipped Tucker's wings. End of thread. And remember, Twitter abruptly rescinded its virus misinformation policy shortly after Elon Musk took, took the platform over. Before I discuss reaction, I want to shout out to a sponsor who can really help you through the economic storms to come. That sponsor is OurSilverLines.com. Do you feel like you're working harder for your money just to get by? You are not alone. Fluctuating economy, employment issues, and unexpected changes in life have left many families struggling over the past few years. Collecting gold and silver can help shield you against many of these challenges. But, if you're like me, many years ago you don't know where or how to start. Our Silver Lines helps by connecting you with thousands of members who are learning the secrets to creating and protecting true wealth by collecting precious metals. Whether you just want to collect rare and unique coins or take advantage of the business opportunities this company provides, either way, they can help you learn to live an exceptional life. Visit OurSilverLines.com to learn how you can build a legacy for your future. Reaction varies from positive to slightly skeptical. A German language user named Norbert Herring left a tweet to which I have left a link in the description. He left this message in Ger left his message in German and Twitter provides this machine translation from Google. Quote, 
how Twitter censored an article by Tucker Carlson saying that spreading official info from the WHO that children should not be jabbed against the virus and shall remain nameless can be censored, a recommendation that the WHO simply quietly removed, close quote. I have another link to a tweet reminding everybody of the definition of malinformation, or information that, while true, is somehow detrimental to society to get out. This is state actor type stuff, and I've told you all about that last November. And now my analysis. At first, this looks like a minor episode in the saga of Tucker Carlson. Today, he must somehow get out of an 18-month contract that pays him to stay quiet. Or rather, it forces him to stay quiet and pays him to keep that legal. That is, if Megyn Kelly's information and testimony are both accurate. But could Rupert Murdoch have had another motive in addition to making sure Donald Trump loses in 20, uh, 2024? Could he be hobnobbing with the World Health Organization? He has already tainted himself with ideological corruption with the Democratic Party. Why not with who? As they prepare a treaty to make themselves a one-world government. Right now, I don't know any more about either the planned vote on the WHO treaty, supposed to take place at the end of May, or the disposition of dangerous laboratory samples, possibly now in rebel hands in Sudan. But perhaps Rupert Murdoch wants to stop Tucker Carlson from investigating both of these at this critical juncture, in which case Tucker needs to break that contract now and start investigating. Links to the description of the article, to Benny Johnson's interview with Megyn Kelly, to Tucker's famous video, to Paul Thacker's thread, to two tweets in reaction to my Declarations of Truth Twitter account and to Conservative News and Views. I've also left links to the awesome CNAP store and to rsoverlines.com, as I also mentioned. You know already about how to like a video, turn on notifications, and leave a tip. On the end screen, I'm going to leave a subscribe link to my channel and links to a new Tucker Carlson playlist, a new World Health Organization playlist, and that old video about state actors being real. This is Terry A. Hurlbut delivering another Declaration of Truth and reminding you to let the truth set you free.